Oh my god, it got so dark so quickly. I can't see. Oh my god. I wonder why horror films are always filmed at please. night. Someone help me. I need to be it's cheaper. Please, help me, please, someone. Worry, woman. What do you mean? I'll save you with my big man you don't have to pay for sun cream for your crew. I can't do anything in the dark. What do we do? I, I, I just don't know what to do. Oh Look, my god. We need to split up and search for clues. It's the only way we're going to get out of here. Okay. Uh, oh god. You I'll wouldn't do that. I would. It doesn't make any logical sense to split up. As is, you would use that as a weapon instead of the giant knife. <laughs> I don't know. I reckon you could do a lot of damage with a corkscrew, like. <laughs> Why is it in horror films, whenever the light goes out, women always become incapable of thinking for themselves? Or don't hide behind the sofa, that would be the first place they will look. What if it's a murderer? Really strong, <laughs> what? Have to in the afternoon? There's only one way you can find out. You split up and search for clues? No, answer the door! Aye, alright. No way, thank you. Uh, definitely not. Thanks. But goodbye. Who was it? Postman? No. Murderer? Aye. <laughs> Good one. We need a plan uh, and weapons. Okay, think, 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 think. I've got it, I've got it. What are you gonna do? Hole punch him? <gasps> Did you put the ironing away? Ah, uh, no, sorry, pet. I'll go do it. No! No, the iron. We can use it as a weapon. It is big and it's heavy. Look, it worked in these standards, okay? Now. We need to get there quickly before he comes any closer. So, when I say three, we go to the iron. Wait, wait, do we go on three or after three? Just move when I say three. Right. Turn it off. I can't, it's work. Turn it off. Hi, Hi Chris McElroy. Yes. Hiya, Sandra. No, I've not seen your email yet, Pat. What's up? Oh no, that sounds awful, seriously. Oh, what a nightmare. Oh, some people just don't get it. Oh, I'm glad I'm not in your shoes right now. Well, at least you've come to the right place. If there's one thing I know, it's PR. Why don't you just run us through it from the top? What are you doing? Are you stupid? He knows where we are. We have to move before he finds us. Stay low, stay close, follow me. Whose dog is this? That's, that's Bill's dog, Jasper, from number 10. Christ, you don't think the killer's taken down the whole street? Well, if that's the case, we can't leave him here. Fine, bring him with us. Nice doggy. <laughs> Jasper, sit down. Sit down. That's it. Good boy. Good boy. Drink. Where did you get that? Uh, Christmas, I reckon. Oh, that's not... God, this is ridiculous. What am I doing? Uh, hiding away from a mass murderer. No. You stay there. I... Good boy. Why am I carrying away from our inevitable fate? 
because you don't want to die. You know, do you know what? I've been conditioned to fear this all my life. Ready to run at any moment, putting keys between my fingers like some sort of low-budget Wolverine. I'm not sure this is the right time for that big kind of questions, you know. I am in my own home. I should not be hiding. Not today. Not ever. I say no to your stereotypes. Sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. They sorted the wasp nest, so uh, I thought I'd bring your eggs to her back. Oh. Right. Yeah. Of course, Bill. Thank you. Chris? Give Bill his dog back.